Good morning. Welcome to day 77. Did you have great car yesterday? I hope so. I did. Um, day 77's lesson is about having confidence in the unmerited favour of Jesus. And today's scripture is from Ruth 2 verse 3 in the King James Version, King James Version. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And her hap was to light on a part of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. Elimelech. So her hap, remember that's her, her happen. She happened to land on a part of the field belonging to Boaz. This is a beautiful story of a Moabite woman named Ruth in the Bible. In the natural, Ruth had everything against her. She was poor, she was a widow, and she was a Moabite, a Gentile in the Jewish nation of Israel. But even after her husband died, Ruth remained with her mother-in-law, Naomi. She left her family to follow Naomi back to Bethlehem and made Naomi's God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, her God. So having, she had confidence in the unmerited favour of Jesus. Um, and so should we, because he will cause you to be in the right place at the right time, as he positioned Ruth to be. So because of her poverty, Naomi and Ruth couldn't afford to buy grain. So Ruth had to go out to the field to perform the menial tasks of gleaning whatever the reapers had left behind. So, you know, whatever fell down, you know, the, the scraps and crumbs that were falling from the baskets and the, the reaping. So I want you to notice that Ruth was depending on Lord, the Lord's favour because she said to Naomi, please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him in those sight that I may find favour. So Ruth was confident that God would give her a favour even though she was a foreigner and had no connections with anyone in the field. She didn't even know whose part of the field she would be able to glean in. But look at the Bible's account of what happened next. And she went and she came and she gleaned in the field after the reapers and her hap, so she happened to light on a part of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. So of all of the spots in the field that Ruth could have happened to wander into, her happen, or her kara, was to come to the field that belonged to Boaz who happened to be a man of great wealth and who also happened to be Naomi's relative. Hap. Hap is an old English word and it means to happen. To happen to be at the right place is what it actually means. However, in the original Hebrew, the root of this word is the word kara. So, who happened to successfully be a happy success or a successful happening. So when Ruth trusted in God's unmerited favour, she carred or happened to come to the part of the field that belonged to Boaz. And to cut a long story short, Boaz saw Ruth, he fell in love with her and married her. Ruth was po possibly at the lowest point of her life just before she met Boaz. All of the natural factors of life were against her. But... Because she put her trust in the Lord, the Lord put her at the right place at the right time, her situation was turned around completely. In fact, she became one of the few women to be mentioned in the genealogy of Jesus. In uh, Matthew 1.5, it states that Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. What an honour to be included in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Talk about being in the right place at the right time, right? So my darlings, no matter what natural circumstances 
may be against you today. Have confidence in the favour of Jesus and he'll give you what we call Kara success. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, that's better. Sorry, okay. <laughs> so I was saying he's going for him. He's going to have us. He's going to give us Kara success and cause us to be positioned at the right place at the right time to experience his protection and his success in our relationships, in our careers, and in our finances. Amen. That sounds good, right? Please follow me in today's prayer. Father, thank you for your unmerited favour and for blessing me with Kara moments. Because of your favour, I know that all weaknesses, disqualifications or lack that I have in the natural will not prevent me from being positioned at the right place at the right time to experience your blessings. I choose to lean on you and your favour and I ask you to bless me with the right happenings today. Thank you for turning around the negative situations in my life and giving me Kara success. Amen. Amazing. Don't growl at me. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Have a Kara success and God bless. See you tomorrow. Please let me know if it is helping you by emailing me on